Hi right, guys, so the purpose of this video is not to explain what she concepts are. Uh, that's in a, in a previous video that I've put forward, but it's how to write a good she essay. And the reason why I'm putting this together is because um, in the past, sometimes students hand me up you know, a good piece of writing. It's, it's well researched and it's well written. Um, but it still gets a poor result and it's disappointing for me, it's disappointing for the student. Why? Because um, she tasks are very, very specific things. They're a very, very specific structure with the way they're put together um, and there's very specific criteria. So I'm trying to be very transparent with what those criteria are so that you're clear how you get the best possible marks for your she assignment um, so uh, if you have a look so on, on some of these slides what i've done is i've highlighted the uh the performance standards from the SACE board that give you your your grades this is how i'm going to determine your grades and so the reason why i put this this one here a to e um on this front page is because if you follow the structure um and, and that's going to fit into the communication so um, if you're you know you've got a clear understanding of the biological terms and you've used them correctly and you're using the right formats um, which is you know introduction one picture not four pictures uh, you've gone through the biological relevance you've discussed the sheet concepts so you've you've uh, and you're doing your in-text references and and all those things then you're you're going to for your communication you're going to be up to the towards the a end um, but if you you know you're you're mostly getting it right but you're um, you know, it's mostly coherently um, it's still effective terms and appropriate terms then you're looking at a b but if it's just generally fitting the pattern then you you know you're looking at a c and and so on so um, communication uh, really fits into the whole structure of the essay and how you present that information. So that's why um, I put it here with the, the front page. And just watch out those, uh, you, you've got a thousand words to play with, but it runs out very quickly. So these are just, this is just a suggestion, but you're going to find that you really want to put most of your effort and energy into the sheet concepts. There's half of the assignment right there. Um, and the you know a lot of the rest of it comes into the biological relevance um, and uh, yeah you don't have a lot more other than that so that's the that's the structure of the essay um, so a title which isn't in the word count by the way uh, needs to tell the reader about the piece of writing and it needs to tell them it needs to make it clear even before they start reading it what the article is about so you know a good one will um, will be more detailed, whereas a, a bad one really doesn't give you much information at all. The introduction, you're looking to do two things in the introduction. Uh, you don't always have to come up with an issue. It could be um, that you're talking about a new technology or you're talking about a new scientific concept, but you need to briefly describe that concepts or that technology's significance uh, to society because remember science as a human endeavor it's about the interaction between science and society so right in right from the introduction you need to uh, as one of the things be talking about you know describing the um the, the relevance and the significance of your um of, of your issue um, then you need to link that issue or technology or concept to one of the four she concepts that we talked about in the last video uh, and I'll discuss more about that um, a little later on um, yes but also you you know the, the best ones are going to be even um, referring to the specific elaborations that you'll be talking about in the body of your essay there's rules, rules, this is all part of the communication. All, all of these things, the introduction, the title, the pictures and data, they all f fit into the communication grade, uh, A to E. Um, so if you're following these rules, you're more likely to get the A. 
make sure that your pictures are highly relevant and make sure that you refer to your pictures and or data um, don't just put in random pictures for example so yes um, all that introduction pictures title that uh, all fits into the communication um, performance standard now then there's the uh, another section and you should subtitle your assignment another section which uh, just specifically talks about the biological significance uh, and the biological significance is marked on this scale here you know, are you showing deep and broad knowledge so the best ones are going to be detailed and thorough um, you know so you want a range of concepts so that's you being detailed you want a depth sorry a, a range of concepts meet you being thorough and depth means you're being detailed um, some depth some breadth is a B grade um, whereas if you're just being very general and not really putting much detail in then you're looking more at a C grade or or, or lower uh, so um, and that as it says here the this section needs to be able to inform the reader of the necessary science understandings uh, for them to be able to uh, go on at for the when they read the she task they understand the science behind it um, so for example in this case you might need to talk about what an ecological niche is or what keystone species are or um, describe how a keystone species might alter its biotic and abiotic environments so really get into the science behind it not just necessarily biology but you could be talking about the particle model so there might be elements of chemistry or physics or whatever but um, obviously because this is a bio biology she task there will be um, a lot of biology that you'll be talking about all right and so yes that's and that's also getting graded a to e then you've got um, the she concepts now there's two performance standards that really um, get graded based on how well you make and I'm I'm going to say at least three well-made points that clearly relate to the she concepts um, the thing is you probably don't have enough words with with 500 words for this section you don't have a lot of words to play with you're probably not going to be able to cover more than three and do a good job of them so um, as per any good essay you start each um, one of those concepts with as a new paragraph you would start with a topic sentence and then after that you would uh, you have to critically and with detail describe the interaction between science and society as it relates to your chosen she elaborations again talked about elaborations in the last video um, but this this is where I'm going to be saying okay is that interaction um, critical and deep you know this person really thought about it or is it just been done with some depth um, showing that interaction between science and society uh, or is it just been generally mentioned or has it been barely mentioned so that looking at um, the how critical and detailed those interactions are and then also is how well justified you make those points so um, back it up after you've so you you start your topic sentence you make your point you need to justify your point with some evidence from your research uh, so if you're the, the conclusions that you make are logical and uh, you've got a detailed justification of why that is the case with some real evidence from some real research make sure you put your reference in that's really strong that's going to get an A grade there uh, whereas if there's some you know some reasonable justification then you're looking at a B uh, if you've got um, you know it's uh, interpretation of evidence to formulate generally appropriate conclusions with some you know minimal justification you'll get a C and if there's no justification you're looking at a D or an E for that section um, so obviously it's a she essay so obviously the she concepts are going to be the bulk of your writing 500 words and um, it's also going to be the thing that gets uh, the most grades marks attracted to it 
Uh, and then finally, your conclusion, um, which you summarise what you mentioned in the introduction, you know, summarise the main topic, uh, very briefly summarise your three points that you covered in this she concepts. Um, yeah, so you don't put detail here. You, you need to try to be concise. Uh, maybe you save some words here. You don't have to do 100 words and you can use that in other parts of your assignment. Uh, but whatever you do, don't introduce any new concepts or ideas. And that's just going to show this this performance standard, which already gets assessed partly here. Uh, so, um, to, you know, formulating those conclusions there, but also at the very end um, in the conclusion as well. Um, and then this all comes together and you know, you might get uh, an A for that bit and a B for that bit and an A for that bit and an A for that bit. And I was going to average out, it might be an A minus or it might be a B plus or so um, when you put the all, you know, how you performed in into the rubric, uh, that's how it summarizes and gets your grade. So if you have any questions, um, absolutely come and speak to me in class and um, or oh, yeah, um, after the lesson, and uh, or send me an email, and I'm very happy to chat to you about these things. Um, good luck, and see you around.